Welcome back to our special presentation on the Furniture War. Both sides were reaching an agreement and a treaty was soon to be signed. Archduke Klaus Breckenrick, confidently perched on the Empire throne, took his pen when their throne attacked him. A chair of such honor had never revolted against a royal sitter in this fashion before. The Archduke was killed instantly. Horrified, members of the leader's royal staff sought revenge. The second phase of the war had begun. Mercilessly, freshly upholstered sofas and love seats fell from the sky. The precipitation of leather and mahogany devastated the citizens below. Some of them fled to their homes, only to find their dining tables and beds thirsty for blood. My lazy boy Jay tried to kill me. The furniture crossed every ocean and mountain on planet Earth with drawers as black as night. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months. The battle raged on. The citizens chopped and burned every table and shelf with axes and hope. It was working. Finally, the people were gaining power against a formidable foe. The dressers held one last stand, but their numbers were not enough. Their fate was sealed. On January 11th, the final chairs were captured and brought to Weltonshire. They were found guilty of the uprising, and were sentenced to execution by firing squad. The last dresser, an oak owned by Archduke Sprickenrich, was hanged on January 13th. The war was over, and justice was finally brought to the wicked insurgents. Stop it!